Think about a cell phone and what's going on there, right? You said it earlier that a cell phone's antenna does something. Yeah. What does it do? It's important for students to feel like the physics they learn is about their everyday life. And one of the things that's great about active physics is that every chapter is something that you could do as a job, as a career, as a profession. So if you put it closely to the wire, maybe um, it gets louder. I'm Matt Anthony's Washburn. I work at West Roxbury High School teaching active physics. I started the active physics program uh, three years ago as part of a pilot for Boston. And now uh, we, we actually teach active physics in the ninth grade citywide. No. Oh, this is the cup, yeah. And then it's going to be twirled around here with the three pieces of tape and then. Active physics has brought a lot of excitement to science for me because I used to not be so so much interested in it, but now it's more, it's more, um, it motivates you to want to do more. Oh, I hear it now. Yeah. I hear it. <laughs> yeah. You made a speaker. As you do activities, you learn in a fun way, so it makes you want to learn. It, it helps you learn more and keeps it in your mind. Piece by piece, you, you're building a scientist, and that students, every time they have success in one in one of the activities or one of the challenges, they realize that this is something they can do. And it's it's not something that's irrelevant, but it's also not something that's completely inaccessible. And they come in sometimes with that idea, and um, uh, at the end of the year, when we go through the final portfolios, and they they present the things that they've learned. You can see it in their eyes that they really have started to think of themselves as somebody who can do science and, and to think of science as less of a strange and foreign, foreign land to them. This style of learning has given me more confidence in science. Make a coil, the diameter should be two. That's two centimeters, that's the thing. that's already two centimeters. Because I'm able to remember it, like, so that's how I know that I understand, because I'm able to remember it and to explain it to somebody else. Five centimeters got to be off. So like that, like that. I have taught traditional physics classes, um, and I've also studied in traditional physics classes, and I think that one of the uh, neat ways that active physics does it differently is that they cover all the same ideas, but um, the, the reason for learning something is different. In a traditional physics class, you're learning something because it's the next thing on the list or the next thing in the syllabus. In active physics, there's a context for everything, and the context is something that the students create, and the, the need is something the students create. So as they learn, they're learning the physics because they need to know it, not because they're told this is the next thing we do. I mean, what you did it actually might work okay, but we've got something that will help it. Yeah, yeah. That will help it? Yeah. Did you check? How are you supposed to connect the two things? It actually gets me into doing some work, because science, used to just sit down and listen to the teacher. But on this one, we get to read, do activities, and actually, tr when we talk about a certain challenge we usually try to like accomplish it and make it to see for ourselves if it works not for just the book telling us it works but for us being ourselves that it works. In teaching active physics I really actually learned a lot. When I started out I, I didn't have a lot of physics background and it's actually made me much more interested in physics just because just by the way I've te taught it um, and and through teaching it I've learned a lot and and gone on to to take more classes at the university level and learn more about it. Um, I, I've also learned a lot about teaching science in general. Yeah. And then now you're, when you clip it, it should hold that, those two wires in contact with each other. Yeah. Having a chance to Great. teach in a curriculum that is so well laid out and so accessible to the teacher and really facilitates the inquiry model has helped me learn a lot about how inquiry is taught and how people learn science. And uh, it's, I, I think it's made me a better science teacher in general. What I want to know is what you think. Doesn't have to be right. It's got to be your, what your ideas are. Benjamin, what do you think?